concerning hive beetles. Uh, I've, been, I've heard from several reliable sources that this method is, a, is real good. Now this, uh, you can see the name of it, dry cloth refill. And uh, it's eight uh, dry cloth refills. Uh, people put this on the end of their mop to uh, get dust up on the floor. Now here's the piece right here that comes out of there. There's many of them in there. And uh, I'm going to show you right here. This piece here comes out of this box. There's many of them in there. And uh, you, you cut this piece in half. Now, we're going to put this one half piece in the hive, and I'll show you. Okay, a lot of things in beekeeping have been learned by accident or trying different things. And uh, I have learned from several creditable beekeepers that, that this works. It's, it's, it's one way, it's one factor, one method of, of helping control the hive beetles. Now, the, the, the brand name of this is DG, like do Dog Good Home. DG Home. And uh, I believe you can buy it at home, uh, uh, Dollar General or something like that. So I'm going to show, show putting it on the hive and, 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 uh, and what is expected. Be sure and smoke your hive real good. You can pine needles or leaves, dry leaves, wet leaves of course won't work. Uh, pine needles or dry leaves is a good source to, to uh, fuel your smoker. Smoke them real good in the entrance and under the top cover. And then wait about a minute before you start going into it. If you don't, you'll think your bees are mean and they're not. It's because you didn't. Uh, you young bucks, uh, y'all get too much of a hurry. Now, I don't know about the ladies, but uh, uh, don't get in a hurry. Now, I'm going to move up closer. I've, I've, I've already smoked them, and I'm going to show you taking off the top and, uh, and, and applying this, uh, this duster, okay? All right, I've already... I've already I've already cut this duster in half and and I'm gonna take the top off now this is the inner cover now I'm gonna take the inner cover off it, it's windy so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk uh, try to talk louder I'm gonna smoke a little bit while I it's still you know kind of cool weather it's 72 today and so it's, 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 it is really stuck down. Alright. Now I don't see. I don't see a single high beetle so far. Now this is a high beetle trap. Okay. That is good. And. Uh, so i tell you what. I wasn't planning on doing this. But, but I'm going to take this top brood chamber off. And, and take a look at the top of the bottom brood chamber. And so bear with me while I do that. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Now, if now you can see the top of the bottom brood chamber. Right now, I, had, I have not seen a high beetle. And that's what we're talking about today is high beetles. So that, that's good. I'm going to put this uh, hot brood chamber back on there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sure that my camera is on the top of the top brood chamber. Now... I've, I've heard from a, a, a lot of reputable beekeepers that this really works. So this, this 
duster, we're simply going to lay it on top of the brood chamber like so. And the high beetles, the high beetles want to hide. So they'll crawl underneath that to hide and they get stuck on that and can't get out. So I'll let you know, this is the first time I've tried it, so I'll let you know how it works. Happy, happy beekeeping to all of you. If you have any questions, let us know. And we have a website, Durham's Bee Farm. <coughs> that, that just got me on the lip. <coughs> oh.